Hey everyone! Today we're diving into the controversy shaking up the GOP, Mark Robinson's shocking comments, and the broader implications for the Republican Party. Mark Robinson, the Republican nominee for governor of North Carolina, has been at the center of a storm recently. A CNN report uncovered some highly controversial comments Robinson made online over a decade ago. These aren't just off-color jokes, we're talking about racially and sexually charged language. Robinson allegedly referred to himself as a black Nazi, and even expressed support for reinstating slavery. Yeah, you heard that right. Robinson, trailing behind his Democratic opponent Josh Stein, has dismissed these revelations as salacious tabloid lies. He insists the online account in question isn't his, despite CNN claiming they've verified its authenticity through personal details and speech patterns. This has led to mixed reactions within the Republican Party. Some Republicans are calling for Robinson to suspend his campaign, arguing that these revelations make him unfit for office. On the other hand, Robinson's supporters are standing by him, describing the report as a distraction tactic by his political opponents. They argue the focus should be on his policy positions, not comments from over a decade ago. But this controversy is more than just about one man. It highlights a broader issue within the Republican Party, the struggle with extremism, Critics argue that the GOP has become increasingly tolerant of fringe views and conspiracy theories, especially since Donald Trump's presidency. They point to figures like Robinson and conspiracy theorist Laura Loomer as evidence of this trend. The GOP's embrace of such figures is seen by some as a sign of its shift towards more radical and divisive politics. This has raised concerns about the party's future direction and its relationship with truth and accountability. Robinson's case is a prime example. Despite his history of extreme remarks, he's garnered significant support within the party. This suggests that the GOP's embrace of extremism might be more about political expediency than genuine belief. Now let's zoom out a bit. The Republican Party's inability to maintain boundaries between mainstream conservatism and fringe ideologies isn't a sudden phenomenon. It's a gradual erosion that predates Trump, but his rise has certainly exacerbated the issue. The line between acceptable political discourse and extremist views has become increasingly blurred. This blurring of lines has real-world consequences. It normalizes the acceptance of conspiracy theories and potentially harmful rhetoric. The GOP's struggle to police its boundaries and distance itself from extremism could alienate moderate voters and deepen the political divide in the United States. Robinson's campaign, despite the backlash, continues. He remains committed to his bid for office, dismissing the controversy as a distraction. His supporters view him as a strong conservative voice challenging the status quo. They argue his past comments should be considered within the context of the online forum in which they were made and do not reflect his current views or qualifications for office. So, what's next for the GOP? The party faces a crucial dilemma, continue down a path of appeasing its base even if it means embracing extremism or attempt to reclaim a semblance of sanity and risk alienating a significant portion of its supporters. As the Republican Party grapples with these internal divisions, the outcome of Robinson's campaign could serve as a bellwether for its future. Will the GOP prioritize self-preservation or uphold a commitment to truth and reason? Only time will tell. That's it for today's deep dive. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more updates. Take care.